I'm now for this week's pet check and we are this week going to take a look at the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and some of the medical conditions that can affect this breed. I have a little puppy on my lap here. What is this guy's name? Yeah, this is Trey. He's Trey. actually being fostered by Cavalier Rescue USA. Okay. And he's already found his forever home, okay. which is really great. And yeah. we just want to say that Cavaliers are an amazing breed. They are just wonderful companions, and both Dr. Heckler and I actually own See, them. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, Dr. Lynette Cole and Dr. Ashley Heckler are from the OSU Veterinary Medical Center. And I realized as soon as we began, I forgot to ask what the puppy's name was. So now it's Trey. And Ohio State's a premier hospital in this region for this very breed right? And there are, are two conditions that are very specific to the King Charles Spaniel yeah. Cavalier. Such a majestic name too. <laughs> One of it is glue ear, right? Yeah, so that's PSOM or primary secretory otitis media. Uh -huh. And that's a disease where there's a dysfunction of the eustachian or auditory tube. And that's the tube that equalizes the pressure in the middle ear. Mm -hmm. And so um, if that pressure isn't equalized, they can fill with mucus in the middle ear. And pet owners might actually notice some clinical signs of the disease of uh, pain of the head and ear. And they might manifest that as scratching at the head, neck, and ear. They can have hearing loss, and they can also have neurological signs like a droopy lip or um, a tilted head. They might not be able to blink. Oh boy, and Dr. Heckler, you're an expert on the second condition, the second disease, which I'm not even going to attempt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we abbreviate it CMSM, mm -hmm. and the CM stands for Chiari-like malformation, and that is a malformation of the skull, which is very common in the Cavaliers, as well as any other breed that has the short noses. Hmm. And the SM stands for Syringomyelia, which is um, secondary to the skull malformation, and it's little pockets of fluid that fill into the spinal cord. Mm. And the two diseases together can cause them to have neck pain, it can cause them to scratch at their, their necks, their faces, and it can also cause them to just cry out during the day. Aww. And so since a lot of these signs are very similar to what Dr. Cole was describing with the ear disease, that's why a lot of times we need to do an MRI to find out exactly what's going on. Oh, wow. And so we can treat them mostly medically with some medications, mm -hmm. but right now I am doing a clinical trial and the clinical trial is looking at two different medications in these guys. So one is called gabapentin, and one is a new drug that we're trying, amitriptyline, to see which is more effective. I see. And, and are, you're accepting new patients for that trial as well? I am. I'm looking for owners who have cavaliers that they think might have signs of either scratching or neck pain that think that your dog might have this, uh, the CMSM, so that they can enroll in, in the clinical trial at Ohio State. Okay, so they should call the OSU Veterinary Medical Center. Correct. to get more information. So Trey has settled in. He's very comfortable here. <laughs> can you, um, where can viewers adopt? You say he is part of a rescue right now, it's right? Cavalier Rescue USA. Mm -hmm. So that website should be showing momentarily. Oh, there uh, it is, CavalierRescueUSA.org. Yeah, absolutely. So they adopt out to all different areas of the United States, yeah. and they're always needing fosters and donations, yeah. and they have lovely dogs to adopt. But yeah, And more, because Trey is already spoken for. Yes. And that's why he looks so relaxed. And can we mention, this dog is actually deaf, right? Yes. Is that, is that a common trait in the King Charles? So he could have the piece on, but they can also get a true deafness. He's sure. about 10 years old, so it could be true wow. deafness he and age-related. great for 10. Yeah, he's yeah. great. Isn't he amazing? Yeah. He is. Such a cutie. And there's so many more looking for forever homes. Thank you both so, for Thank joining you. us today. Yeah. If you have any questions, you can call the OSU Veterinary Medical Center. And uh, we'll be right back. Thank you. Thanks for...